What really sucks about living in Hawaii? 11 things. One, higher gas prices. Um, I don't drive a lot. I probably drive maybe once every two weeks. And I'm trying to get it down to about once a month. Um, once my trees start producing fruit and my garden start producing more vegetables, I'll probably only be driving about once a month. Um, yeah, I think prices are about double here than most places in the U.S. as far as gas goes. Also, the cost of shipping. Um, I used to uh, order a lot of things online, but no more because usually things cost about double of what they would normally cost in the store. So I try to either find what I need in the stores or have the store order it for me. Um, two, limited housing. If you have only a limited amount to spend, you're very limited. When I bought this place, there was only maybe just a few other places that would even come close, but the acreage wasn't enough, and there was just, it was like track homes, and I can't live like that. I have to have privacy the way I want to live. So yeah, yeah, there's not a lot. I was actually living in a tent and I kind of just wanted to get a place so it's not the perfect place it could have been much better for the amount that I spent but I was limited and I want I wanted to get into a house and stop living in a tent three rock fever I've never experienced rock fever I actually probably I mean I could just stay on my own property and never leave, really, if I had everything growing here and I would not miss going anywhere, really. And actually, if I never go back, have, if I never have to go back to the, the mainland again, that would be great because I don't even want to go back there. So for me, it's not a problem. And actually, I've never even been to Kona before and I've lived here for four years now. Four. Limited inter live entertainment. This I kind of miss a little bit because I'm actually an ex groupie. Well, okay, not well. I guess if you if you count two people and major bands, and I didn't have sex with them because they were in bands only. I mean, yeah, I like their music. Yeah, they're sexy, but. For the most part, it's because I just like them as people. So, but that, it, it was just, no, wrong. Because most of that was built on fantasy, not reality. Because why would somebody that doesn't do drugs like somebody that does do drugs? I mean, I don't do drugs. However, why am I attracted to people that do drugs? It doesn't make sense. So it's probably just as well. Five, limited job market. Um, you know, I I do I did freelance modeling when I lived in the city, and here, it's just very very limited on the amount of jobs I can get as far as freelance modeling. So yeah, job markets are very limited. Seven. Relocation considerations. Now, when you move to Hawaii, you can't just like load up your U-Haul and bring all your stuff with you. I literally moved here with one suitcase. So yeah, you just, you have to pretty much get rid of everything and just start all over again. Eight, poisonous toads. The beautiful cane toad contains 5-H-O-D-M-T, uh, which is poisonous to dogs and cats. Hundreds of dogs and cats every year are poisoned to death by cane toads. However, don't go cane toad looking to get high because it might just kill you too. Nine, slugs. The slugs here, a lot of them have something called rat lung disease and it's very easy to, di 
ingest to ingest their their um their slime or their eggs or their babies because they're very very tiny i actually had a scare i bought some lettuce um at the store even it was like at the grocery not grocery store but it was at the yeah the natural store food store and um i rinsed off the lettuce really good and dried it and put it in my bowl and as i was eating it i noticed on the bottom of one of the leaves, a very, very tiny speck. It was actually a baby slug. It could have killed me. So needless to say, I now inspect every single leaf thoroughly before I eat anything raw. Um, it's Rat lung disease is deadly. You die from that. 10. Vog. You don't have to worry about smog in Hawaii, but Vog is just as bad and just as deadly. And 11, prejudice. Believe it or not, there are Hawaiians that do not like white people, and they will find any reason to show you that they don't, they can't stand you. And I've had it happen to me a few times. Not fun. Sad. Very sad. Take care.